hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to fix the easy anti-cheat errors in iRacing now if you're getting messages like failed to launch easy anti-cheat not installed or game security violation detected don't worry because we have got you covered let's begin now the most common and popular way to fix that issue is going to your steam all right so you need to verify the game files how i want you to click the general and then there should be an option for you to click the installed files because this it has an option that says verify integrity of game files if you click on it this may take some time but it will check if anything is corrupted or missing and automatically re-download the files so that's the most common way after doing this once it's done I want you to restart your PC or computer and then try to relaunch the iRacing game again. All right. And then the next option that we are going to do is update your drivers and windows. Make sure your GPU drivers are updated. If you're using NVIDIA, you might want to open the NVIDIA GE Force Experience or the AMD Adrenaline because an outdated driver can cause easy anti cheat to fail. Another option is you might want to go to the systems of security okay so go to the updated security go to the windows update and similar to the gpu drivers make sure your windows updates are installed all i have to do is click the check for updates and that could potentially fix the problem now if nothing works now another option that you can do is navigate to your watchdogs installation folder right so open the easy anti-cheat folder so in my case, I'm going to go to Steam Apps. I'm going to click the Common. I'm going to click the Game and click the Watch Dogs too. And then go to the Easy Anti-Cheat folder. And then from here, you have the option to click the Repair or Uninstall and Reinstall. Or, of course, you can also run as Administrator. Because this ensures the Anti-Cheat system is properly configured. And try to restart your PC. To see if that works or now while at it i want you to right click again on it and there should be an option that says properties and then go to the compatibility section and then you need to click the run compatibility troubleshooter all right because as you may notice if this program isn't working correctly on the version of windows try running the compatibility troubleshooter to see if that works now i want you to pay attention because you need to click this section right here that says run this program in compatibility mode for all these windows you have windows 8 until 10 or 11 and, and then you have the ability to run this as administrator you want to make sure to check that option or check that option and click the apply and okay another option that you can do is go to the services on your windows all right and as you may notice you have the services here i want you to look for the epic games or epic online services you need to do the same thing that we have done earlier right click on it go to the properties and you want to make sure on the startup you click the automatic delayed startup or automatic all right and then click the service starts click the apply and click on ok you can also go to the easy anti-cheat official website and try to reinstall and uninstall the program all right so that's up to you hopefully one of these steps work and you can also join the official iRacing discord server and ask the community if they've encountered the same issue most members are willing to share tips or help you out to fix the problem all right you can also go to the official iRacing support help all right and from here just provide your state country email and your situation one of the uh, support staff will contact you and provide solutions to the problem and hopefully that fixes it all right and that's it for today's video those are the best fixes for eye raising easy anti-cheat errors again try all these steps in order and you should be able to get back on track without any problems if this video helped you out make sure to hit that like button subscribe for more quick fixes and drop a comment if you are still having trouble or if you have any more questions 
we'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.